because I had no class today, which I didn't realize because it's a holiday. Grocery stores here on the right. Vita Moss. It's air conditioning, but expensive. Polly. Every time I go in there to get some, they got a line, so. Up here on the left is a uh, Super China. And they got cheaper prices, plus they have many cashiers. Taking my sunrise pictures. This is La Playa Samara. Camera came loose. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out another way to mount this thing. Alright. Here's my school, right here on the right, with the old building. Getting bogged down in sand. There we go. Yeah, here's my school right here. Got classes downstairs, upstairs, and a big open communal area here that's covered and shaded. It's our break area. It's a lot, a lot of kids taking Spanish from the United States. I don't know if it's just the parents realize as they grow up that the United States is going to be mostly Latino and Spanish will help with your career. Not many adults, I'd say, in, in, my, in the classes that go the same time I am, maybe 15, maybe. It's only five in my class. And then uh, oh, lots of kids, I mean five-year-olds on up to lots of teenage girls. So, yeah, I don't know, it's all right. Two, two of my classmates are professionals, they own their own business. And one of them, he's a teacher in Switzerland. I'm the only one, uh, they just feel they need the Spanish. So I'm just doing it for fun. And it ain't really fun. It's more like work, school work. I never liked going to school when I was young. This is the same thing. I'm gonna get through this next week. I don't know if I'm gonna do another Spanish speaking school. I don't know. I just need to get more acclimated. All right. Like I say, my casa is right here to the right in this green building. So it's a short walk to school every morning. I gotta re rig this GoPro so it'll stay on there. Alright. 
Later.